Next and new at six tonight as Florida leaders push to reopen long term care facilities to visitors. I team investigator Adam Walser uncovering a local assisted living facility cited by the state for failing to follow control procedures to stop the spread of COVID-19 and new here tonight. New questions about how widespread this problem may be across the state of Florida. What is the address of your emergency? The 911 call came from Inspired Living at Lakewood Ranch Assisted Living Facility on July 11th. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, we have a resident who has fallen and we're pretty sure he hit his head. Okay, he was out on the patio. That resident was Samantha Zelnick, 73 year old father. They called and said my dad had fallen, that he was outside on the patio outside, um, and that she didn't know how long he had been out there. Even more concerning. Does he have a new cough that recently started? He has a cough. He was one of eight residents in the dementia unit who had tested positive for COVID-19, according to a state inspection report. My dad was walking around being basically a ticking time bomb, and that is not okay. Police found no elder abuse or neglect and closed their investigation. The state regulators opened a separate investigation. After Zelnick says she called the state's complaint hotline, inspectors found the facility failing to follow control procedures to mitigate for COVID-19. What I was worried about was all of the residents there that were fine, that weren't COVID positive, and I was just thinking about those families. Did they know? The emergency state inspection report shows staff members working in both the coronavirus isolation unit and with patients not infected with COVID-19. A state task force is now moving forward with plans to bring visitors back to long-term care facilities. That this access is uh, and should be available. So we wanted to know how well the state's nursing homes and assisted living facilities are handling infection control. But the Agency for Healthcare Administration, which regulates and inspects long-term care facilities, couldn't immediately provide information on how many have been found failing to follow procedures to control the spread of COVID-19. Two weeks after our request, we are still waiting for answers from the state. With COVID-19, the one thing you need is to not only maintain resources, but add new resources and have resources in reserve. Attorney Jessica Moore has filed whistleblower lawsuits against long-term care facilities, although those suits have not included inspired living. She says she's concerned about a lack of oversight in the system. What we had were routine inspections, which have been um, temporarily halted during the crisis. The federal government has waived the required routine inspections during the pandemic, but the state told us it has visited every nursing home in Florida at least once since March and inspects assisted living facilities when it receives complaints. The Medical Examiner's Office for Manatee in Sarasota counties reports three residents of Inspired Living at Lakewood Ranch have died from COVID-19 since July 6th. Zelnick says she moved her father to another facility where he is now recovering. Man been able to give him a hug since March. Even though she would love to hug him, she says she believes it's more important that everyone is protected. Closing down the facilities and keeping people out was the right thing to do. Um, you know, it's a huge mistake to open them back up at this point. We reached out to Inspired Living for a comment. A spokesperson said, we're extremely concerned about the situation and are fully cooperating with investigators. You can read their entire statement on abcactionnews.com. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.